so, Daniela. We have reached the end of this mentoring course. What was the best experience for you? I really enjoyed the TED talk about listening. Personally, I believe that people are so distracted nowadays that they forget to listen. The talk supported this point and pushed me to even think about it more. What do you think? I absolutely agree that we can't hear each other. We are so busy talking. And then far too often people you work with expect you to talk and they just pretend to listen because they think that that's what they've got to do. I would even take this a step further and blame technology for it to some extent at least. We are now forced to react instantly to every message or request. However, this is exactly the problem. People deserve more than a reaction. They should get a response. Sometimes it is much more valuable to wait and think and disconnect and answer from whatever else is going on in life. So, that is another aspect I had to think about when listening to the TED Talk. That's a beautiful thought and I absolutely agree. It reminds me of the students in class who expect you to do all the talking or want to talk to each other but when you tell them to sit for a minute and think over a question, they lose interest. We have completely lost the ability of listening to our own thoughts and listening to others. Back to technology again. The internet replaces thinking and the need to do valuable research in many ways. The students, and at times myself, jump on Google and believe the first link they see. No questioning of reliability or second thought or thought at all is given. But then, are we listening and registering what we just looked up? Are we fair when replying? However, when texting for example or instant messaging, we expect answers and forget that other people may have a busy day running. So, how about taking more time for everything in the first place? But I guess all we can do is remind people and ourselves. And keep going. What else did you find interesting throughout the course? I found both live events very interesting and it was great to have the opportunity to have some synchronous exchange. I thought Gabrielle's talk really emphasized the importance of mentoring and the separation of supervision and mentoring. This reminded me so much of my time in the Middle East where I was supposed to be mentoring people who were hierarchically below me. I think mentoring is the most democratic relationship or that's what it should be between two people, based on trust and not authority. Supervision is important and necessary and can lead to professional development but not the same way as mentoring and a supervisor will always be just that. Someone who comes and evaluates your work and not someone you turn to to discuss an embarrassing, funny, interesting moment you had during one of your classes. Good point. I find this interesting. As I look very young, I receive a lot of disrespect from people with the same degree and experience. Especially when they think they can be mentoring me without being assigned to the task. Also, I find it interesting how supervising usually gets in between mentoring. Hello. It is meant to help not to put people down. But I guess there is a lot of work to be done. Lack of respect and experience of colleagues' expert convictions are the reason why a lot of teachers don't dare to have their work reviewed. I'm sure Gabriel has used this many times, but it is indeed funny that there are three things people usually do behind closed doors and one of them is teaching. We are so scared from being observed because we have had so many bad experiences of being observed by people who want to see their own ideas regurgitated in your lessons. If people actually came in to see what one does in the classroom to learn from it and share their non-judgmental opinion, I'm sure one would be a lot more relaxed to be observed and be part of a mentoring relationship. Though, I also believe, and this is what I always say, that if I am happy to stand in front of my students I should be happy to let anyone else come in, because it is my students I bear responsibility toward, not someone popping in to see what's going on there. I agree with you. It is based on what you have said before about the misconception of mentoring versus supervising. Even though a supervisor is often there to evaluate your teaching, their primary goal should be to give you advice and guidance. Apparently they have hired you as a good teacher, so why would they now judge you instead of guide you? So this misconception now haunts teachers when observations are near. I think we could keep going for hours. Thomas, what do you think? I agree with you. What a wonderful opportunity to think carefully about mentoring. Thank you Daniela for discussing it with me. Thank you too Thomas. It was a pleasure to meet you and learn from you. Good luck to you. Bye.